On September 26, at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time, NASA intentionally crashed their DART spacecraft into Dimorphos, a small asteroid moon of the larger asteroid Didymos. And we were treated to an unprecedented, almost live view of the impact via NASA and the Deep Space Network. We watched as the two asteroids came into view as a single bright spot, and then slowly resolved into two distinct shapes. The view and resolution just kept increasing until the rocks and boulders making up Dimorphos were almost larger than life. Then BAM! The impact happened, leaving just a partial frame that was last sent from DART. This was the world's first test of a viable method of defending Earth against potential asteroid or comet hazards. DART, which stands for the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, was launched on November 24th at 1.21 a.m. Eastern Time on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. DART is a demonstration of the kinetic impact mitigation technique. The idea is to use the high speed of the minimal mass of an impacting spacecraft to slightly change the velocity of a threatening asteroid, thereby altering its orbit and preventing a disastrous crash into Earth. And the test worked. DART autonomously lined itself up for a bullseye impact into the 525 foot long Dimorphos. Along for the ride was a small CubeSat named LiCA Cube. Built by the Italian Space Agency, it was released by DART prior to the impact. The CubeSat provided front row images of the crash. But this wasn't our only view of the impact. Numerous Earth-based telescopes also trained their sights on DART with amazing results. Showing the impact as a brightening of the Didymos system, many of the telescopes were also able to show the resulting dust and debris that was ejected due to the crash. We can see that cloud of ejecta expanding outward from the impact. And we also had eyes in the sky watching DART. Both the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and the newly commissioned James Webb Space Telescope witnessed the impact. In one of the first planned collaborations between Hubble and JWST, both telescopes recorded the impact with stunning complementary detail. JWST monitors the infrared and near-infrared frequencies, whereas Hubble observes in the visible light spectrum. And observations are ongoing, and data is still coming in from other sources like this image of a newly formed tail of debris and dust trailing the Didymo system. This was an awesome test of Earth's first asteroid deflection system, and hopefully we'll learn in the next few days or weeks how well it worked. Go NASA and go DART! Thank you for watching this video. In July, I decided to take the plunge and start this YouTube channel. Space has always been my passion, and I'd love if you could support me by subscribing to my new channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well.